I got my first fingerboard back in 2017 and since then the collection has grown a lot. So I made a video a little over a year ago showing my entire fingerboard collection but that was already a year ago. So in this video I will be showing you guys pretty much all the fingerboards that I have and also all the parts that go with them. The very first board is this. I think I made a video on this about a year and a half ago and this is like a 5mm fingerboard or something. It is pretty narrow. Feels like it's just gonna snap if I put too much pressure on it. We got my very first performance series board. This is the popsicle stick board from the last video and I still love how this looks. Pretty much all my fingerboards are in this container and there's actually so many boards in here. Just piles of boards. We got a completely stock tech deck. This is probably one of my first decks I got and this is from Amazon. Extremely good quality. This is the Pro Series tech deck and I think I got this back in like February. I have two unopened teak tuning completes and this is from that mystery box I got back in the winter and still haven't really gotten around to setting these up. This is one of my favorite boards I've ever made. This is a finger snowboard. I made a video I believe last winter about this thing and I actually love how that video turned out. Go check it out if you want. We have the 24 karat gold fingerboard graphic. This board was also made pretty recently and dude this thing just looks so good. Another teak tuning board. May as well show the current setup. These are the mountain boards that I make and these are also shark wheels. We also got these trucks on this setup and I actually just love these trucks so much. Platinum tech deck, another one. Another just kind of classic tech deck, I guess. We got another tech deck. I feel like I should just count how many like actual tech decks I have. Another tech deck with the Hot Wheels fingerboard. We got this board I was using back last winter and we also got the gecko tape on this board and I actually kind of forget how much I like this grip. There's kind of just something about gecko tape that just feels like really cool and it's like almost satisfying. We got an unreleased fingerboard. I made this graphic like two and a half years ago and I just put it on this board like a year ago. This board is still unfinished but it kind of looks nice. I feel like this is taking too long so I'm probably just gonna dump this out and just kind of like go over every single board. That is a lot of fingerboards. We got the broken Spider-Man handboard. We got a solid stack of uncut fingerboards. This board is from the winter drop I did back in like December, I believe it was. And the only reason this board isn't set up is because it's so perfect. <laughs> Obviously all the shapes are like the exact same, but there's something about like the finish that just turned out a little bit different on this one. And it's just like so consistent. I forgot I even had this board, but this is like the very first paper fingerboard I made. It's actually kind of like crazy to think about, like this is where it all started. I'm just gonna grab a random board and see what I get. There we go. Super clean bull god board that I got. I have these two boards. I kind of don't know the story behind them, but they don't have any varnish on them. We got the fingerboard weak board, but this has like 10 layers of grip tape on it. I just want to see what the board even looks like underneath the grip tape. An authentic David Jones fingerboard. Why are there so many boards without any finish on them? This is a whole stack of fingerboards with no clear coat on them, so they're not able to be used. You can still set them up like this, but they look so much cooler once the varnish gets on. This is the fingerboard I made when I showed the tutorial of how to make a fingerboard. Honestly, still really happy with how this turned out. We got the big boy fingerboard. I forget whether I made this board 50 or 55 millimeters wide, but either way, this thing is still massive. Oh, that was actually first try. I forgot how strange this feels. This board I made with a 3D printing pen and the grip tape just does not stay on it. I think I'm actually just gonna leave the grip tape off because that looks so much cooler. Teak tuning boxy deck. Okay, this could be like my oldest fingerboard. I actually believe I remember the day that I got this board and I'm pretty sure it was on my fifth birthday. Definitely one of my favorite boards in this collection because like this is my oldest fingerboard. The Coca-Cola fingerboard. This board is made out of a Coca-Cola can, which is kind of cool. Definitely one of my favorites in the collection. We have the Orange Gription X Bull God fingerboard. I I still love how this board looks. Also speaking of Volgod, I actually got two packages that I'm gonna open. As you can maybe tell, they don't make a fingerboard that big, so what is it? That is a good question that I can't even answer. Dude, that is actually so sick. This ledge looks so clean. No way, that's like laser engraved. We got another package here and I can see a fingerboard. Dude, is this a kicker? No way, that's actually so clean. I feel like I say clean way too much, but am I wrong? This is the brand new Bull God board that just got released and I actually love that graphic. After I'm done showing the rest of the boards, I'm probably gonna set this up because that actually looks so good. 
Big shout out to Bull God Fingerboards for sending these over. I just love how these look. I feel like I should make a full video just showing like all the obstacles I have, but I think I'll need a little bit of a bigger space to show all of them. We got another stock performance series board. This is another old tech deck I got. I think I got this like back in like 2016. One of my favorite all time fingerboards. This fingerboard means quite a bit to me because this was like the very first board that got sent to me from Bull God. There's quite a bit of wear on this board, but still one of my favorite. We got whatever this is. If you're fingerboarding and you can't get a trick, just flip the board over it and have motivation. We got the good paper fingerboard. Comparing this to like the old one, there's a pretty big difference. I actually have no idea how this broke and why it broke, but it somehow broke. I'm pretty sure this board still holds the record for the longest time I used it for. I used this board from like April all the way to like August one time. We got the monster fingerboard and we got the Red Bull fingerboard. We even have the titanium fingerboard. To be honest, I kind of forgot about this board, but this is still like one of my favorites. We got this like plastic cruiser board that's kind of cool. We got a gription fingerboard with both the nose and the tail cut off, and we also have toothpaste on the grip tape. That was not my decision. I did a video where I asked all of you guys over on the discord what your favorite fingerboard hacks are and this is how it ended up we got another one of my favorite boards. There's actually a lot of favorites in this pile. We have a few more tech decks. Out of all the Bull God graphics, this is probably one of my favorites. A couple more Amazon fingerboards. We have the foam fingerboard that somehow broke. I said somehow, like foam is hard to break or something. We have the super small penny fingerboard. We got an unfinished finger airboard. More tech decks. We got the greatest board of all time, which is the 10 cents fingerboard. We have a very nice orange Bull God board. We got a broken basic wood deck. Another uncut board. Or in other words, a frisbee. This board has gone through a lot. This this was like one of the very first boards I ever made and this thing is so beat up. We have the pretty cool long board that I made, the lightest fingerboard. I know I said this is like probably my favorite bull god board, but this is actually probably it. This is from another video trying your guys' fingerboard hacks, and you can see how well that went. Everybody leave a comment for your favorite fingerboard hacks that I will try in a future video. Another tech deck, but in a plastic bag. We have a pretty jank fingerboard that was made from like a super cheap fingerboard mold. That ain't right. This board isn't uncut, it's just like half cut. Some of my very first scription fingerboards, the greatest fingerboard graphic ever created. I actually don't even know if these are still available to buy, but I'm kind of happy I got one. We got the finger scooter that I completely forget how to use. So clean. Very good. I kind of wish I finished this board, but this is kind of like a landscape with like mountains and like the sun or something. I think I'm probably gonna finish this. You guessed it. Another tech deck. Big old school board that I made like about a year ago, I believe. I've made so many videos, I kind of forget like when I made a lot of these. There's actually times when I like refer to a video in a video and then I like check afterwards when that video was posted and I'm like two years off. I made this board probably about two months ago and it's kind of cool. I made this board like two weeks ago for like a school project, so it's not the best board. This board is actually from a video I didn't end up posting. I did probably like a thousand ollies onto a saw blade to see if it would actually like cut the board and it turns out it does. I feel like this video could would have done like really well if I actually ended up posting it, but I'm a little bit scared that it's gonna get like taken down because it's like kind of dangerous. We got another tech deck, but with only like 80% grip. We have the world's loudest fingerboard. Always gotta do random flips if you're trying to be loud. This board is really cool and my sister actually made like the wood design on this, which is pretty neat. It has almost like a braided look that looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna say it, this is my all time favorite fingerboard. This is like a complete miniature replica of the one that Braille tested. And I genuinely believe this is actually the strongest fingerboard. This has like five layers of carbon fiber mixed in with like the strongest possible wood I have. And it also took like a week and a half to make. We have a finger airboard and these things are so fun. We also have an unfinished finger airboard. This is the fingerboard with handboard trucks on it. This this thing is just like a beast. Another 10 cents fingerboard. My very first 3D printed fingerboard. Finger bike. Another gription fingerboard. For the most part, these are all my fingerboards, but there's also one more that I use to rest the camera on. Honestly, this is the fingerboard that has the most use, and that is just because I rest the camera on it. The camera has like the lens right here, and I just like rest it right on the fingerboard like that. Fingerboards have so many different uses. Perfect. We have dynamic fingerboard trucks here, a bag of 250 fingerboard trucks, a lot of hardware. I also got a couple different sets of T-tuning wheels and these are like the urethane ones and they're actually kind of good. We have a miniature jar with just a bunch of fingerboard wheels. They're all stuck in here. Probably wasn't like the best idea to only put bowl wheels in this small thing. I also got some like Black River Trucks hardware, even though I don't even have Black River Trucks. 
I also somehow lost two of the bushings and I kind of don't even know where they are. They could just be on like one of these setups, but I don't really know which one. We also got a bunch of maple wheels. Pretty much all these are like empty. I think there's like three with like actual wheels in them. This is a party pack of Ultra 2.0 wheels. That is a lot of wheels. It's actually kind of amazing I have this many boards and that much hardware and that many wheels and I only have like two fingerboards set up at one time. I have no idea what the value of like all this stuff together is but whatever is in the thumbnail and title is probably what it is. Everybody watching this leave a comment for if I should do a video on like all the obstacles I have. Pretty much all of them are just in like a big pile and I kind of don't even know why. There's no reason to have them like all piled up but they just are. Also I know a lot of people watching this are probably gonna ask can I have a free finger Board. There's actually like a bunch of boards here that I would like totally be fine giving away. The only thing is I don't really want to pay like shipping on like 25 different fingerboards. But if you are interested in one of these fingerboards, just let me know on Instagram. And if you're willing to pay shipping, I'll totally give it away. I'm probably just going to take a picture of like a bunch of these boards and then just send it to a bunch of people who are interested. So if you're interested in any of these boards, send me a message over on Instagram at Grips and Fingerboards. If you are interested in a fingerboard community, go join my Discord in the description down below. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next time.